Welcome to My Tesla Weekend News Roundup for the week ending November 21st, 2020. There's a link to last week's news in the corner and in the description below. Let's get started. Tesla stock is up on the week. After starting at $408.93, it finished the week at $489.61 up 19.73%. That's up 80 bucks and 68 cents a share. And you know, that's good. Comparatively, the Dow Jones is down on the week ever so slightly, just half a percent. The Nasdaq composite is essentially flat on the week. And the S&P 500 is down 1% on the week. And what affects the stock price? Well, some good news on that front. Do you still have mild cold fever or fully recovered? To which Elon Musk replied, fully. Now, this of course refers to the Roro which he caught and is presumably doing better. And wouldn't you be doing better if you were now the third richest man in the world behind only Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos? Sticking to Roro news. California gives Tesla essential workforce exemption from new health orders. Essentially, the stay-at-home orders do not apply to automobile manufacturing, as well as the energy sector and many others which were uh, excluded from being opened during the initial shutdown. This time, there is a lot more leeway based on information we have received in terms of viral hotspots. Tesla Rich asked, can you assure we'll get our short shorts before the shortest day, the shortest day of the year being December 21st, when the S&P 500 will be adding Tesla to their index? To which Elon replied, they are on their way, hopefully more Tesla Kila next month. And for those of you who are not able to get Tesla Kila because it's sold out too quickly, or you're in a state or country to which shipping of alcohol is regulated or prohibited, Good news. Unfortunately, there are too many rules around liquor distribution, even in the US. However, we will be selling the lightning bottle and shot glasses worldwide. Elon also announced Tesla holiday software is fire fire. Now don't get too excited. This probably just means the camp mode is now a Yule log. At T-Bone Agnoobs asked, at Elon Musk, add a setting for people in winter climates. Do not use the walkaway automatic mirror fold if below a certain temperature. To which Elon replied, okay. This is how a lot of the best features have been added to the car, including things like dog mode. This will presumably be added via over-the-air update fairly soon. Tesla halts $35,000 Model 3 standard range sales amid rollout of refresh vehicles, according to report. And by report, they mean, you know, you can just go online and go into the configurator and see that it's not there. And it was never there, but you could usually get it off menu. Anyhow, it is not available now as the SR Plus is very close in price and just a better car. At Tweet Me Nima asked, updated timeline on wider release of hashtag FSD beta? To which Elon replied, if next week's release looks good, we will widen beta. There are a lot of videos on YouTube you can find with FSD beta footage, and it's looking increasingly better. The Clean Fuel Reward CFR instant rebate of $1,500 has been announced in California. Very excited to announce that effective the 17th of November, State of California is offering $1,500 for all new title Teslas registered and delivered in the state. And it already appears on the configurator. You can see that the 37990 the price shown without the $1,500 CFR and potential incentives and gas savings of $6,300. Customize next. Tesla stock since highest since September after Morgan Stanley says bye. Oh, look at this. Let's play this video. And it doesn't play. This is your last free article on Bloomberg. Claim this offer by giving us money for a video that doesn't play. Anyway, Morgan Stanley upgraded the stock, gave it a target of 540. This is very good news. And why not? Tesla goes on crazy hiring spree, adds 1,000 sales and delivery people in two months. One of the biggest complaints about Tesla is their service. It is going to improve. Tesla Model S passes test as police car for Fremont, saves $4,000 in fuel cost. Fremont purchased a used S85 and found that it was slightly more expensive to customize, presumably on account of being the first one, has sufficient range, and uh, 
is in service more days per month than a comparable gasoline vehicle. Uh, so that means they're going to have the opportunity to potentially sell more to more police departments. And if you saw last week's news roundup, we discussed how the Model 3 has already passed tests to become a police cruiser in Norway. Clean Technica is reporting Tesla's automotive gross margin improves from 18.7% to 23.7%, which in the automotive world is fantastic. It is vastly higher than most other large-scale manufacturers. Based on the recent stock surge, Tesla is now ranked number 10 globally by market cap. At number one, Apple followed by Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Alibaba, Tencent, Berkshire Hathaway of Warren Buffett fame, Taiwan Semiconductor, and boom, there's number 10, Tesla, with a market cap of $464 billion. And if you think that's fantastic, and that maybe this is the top of the market, remember, it could double in value and double again and still only be number two on the list. Quick reminder, I am not a financial investment planner, and I should also say that in a year's time, Tesla could also be worth less than $464 billion. I don't think it will, but that's why I am a long-term holder of my Tesla shares. Tesla Giga Texas shifts into Elon speed with 24-7 construction crews. Could test production by May of 2021. Now, this is assuming that there will be dry in by the end of December, and I am increasingly skeptical that this will happen. As with all articles about the Texas Gigafactory, by the time you see the photo, it is out of date. These four sections, five sections, are now 12, and two of them have two stories, but that's for the progress video, which will be released later today. And if you saw my progress video last week, there was already footage of the nighttime construction. This analyst sets Tesla target stock price at $578 a share, which is, of course, pretty fantastic. And uh, I'm seeing this message because I'm using Adblock. Disable it. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Tesla's S&P 500 debut, set for December 21st, may spark $8 billion demand, according to Gold Mansacks. Uh, look, it's a chart. Of the 189 large cap funds in our universe, 157 funds, managing around 500 billion in assets, did not hold any Tesla on September 30th, which could create a demand for 2% of the total market value as of today, or about 3% of the float. And lastly, an EU commission is pushing for new Euro 7 emission standards, effectively banning internal combustion engines from 2025 onwards. This is a bit ambitious. It may not happen, or it may happen to a lesser degree, or phased in a little more. But that would create a demand for millions of units within five years. And Tesla is in an unusual position to capitalize on this, with Giga Berlin coming online mid-2021 with an eventual expected output of 2 million cars per year from Phase 1 alone. So that's all the news for this week. want to say a special thanks and a massive shout-out to my 207 subscribers. And I'm not being sarcastic. That's awesome, and I'm very excited about it. And I thank you all for hanging out with me on my Tesla weekend. If you haven't already subscribed, liked, or commented, please take a second to do it so YouTube knows this is good stuff and they should share it with others who share our interests. Okay, guys, that's it, and I'll see you soon.